after watching this video tutorial you are going to learn how to easily draft your own basic trousers pattern with very easy steps that are very beginner friendly if you are interested in more video tutorials like this one make sure you subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss out when i post new videos i post new videos every single week so without further ado let's get into the tutorial so the first thing that you're going to do is um, get your pattern paper and draw a horizontal line across like I have done. As you can see, I have drawn a horizontal line and this is going to be my starting point and also my waistline right there. Then the first thing I'm going to do is I'll just label it as my waistline. The next I'm going to get my waist to hip measurement by placing the measuring tape from my waist down to my hip and my waist to hip measurement is 9 inches. I'm going to mark there with my measuring tape and I'm going to draw another horizontal line across as I am doing. So I'm just going to label that as my hip line. So this is my hip line. Then next I'm going to find my crouch depth. You take your crouch depth by sitting on a flat surface, then place the measuring tape from your waist down to the seat, as you can see in the illustration. So my crouch depth is 10 inches. I'll just mark 10 inches from my waist and draw a horizontal line. So this is going to be my crouch. I'm just going to label it as my crouch. Then next, I'm going to find my thigh measurement, which is just 3 inches below the crotch. I'll get my measuring tape and mark 3 inches below the crotch. Then I'm going to draw a horizontal line. And I'll label this as my thigh line. Next, I'm going to find my knee measurement by placing the measuring tape from my waist down to my knee. Then I'm going to draw a horizontal line across and I'm going to label it as my knee line. Then next I'm going to find my waist to full length of the trousers by placing the measuring tape from my waist down to my ankle as you can see in the illustration. Then I'm going to draw a horizontal line across and I'm going to label this as my full length or ankle. So you can either label this as full length or ankle since um, it ends at the ankle or I'll just label it as my full length. Okay, so next I'm going to mark my hip circumference divided by 4 by placing the measuring tape around my hip then divide by 4. So on my hip line I'm going to mark my hip circumference divided by 4. Then I'm going to draw a vertical line up to my waist and down to my crotch line. Just get my ruler, draw up to my waist and down to my crotch line. Then next I am going to mark my waist circumference divided by 4. I'm going to get my measuring tape starting from this point going that side. So my waist circumference divided by 4 is 8 inches. I'm going to mark it over there. Then I'm going to connect that point downwards and curve and shape my hip. So this is my hip that I'm shaping and curving. I'll just connect it down to my crotch. So next I'm going to mark in my crotch extension. On the crotch line from here I'll go outwards by 2.5 inches. I'll just get my measuring tip and mark 2.5 inches. So let me just um, extend my my lines here. I'm just going to extend my lines a bit. So I'm going to go outwards by 2.5 inches. I'll get my measuring tip and mark 2.5 inches from that point. Then I'm going to curve my crotch by connecting it to the vertical line upwards. So I'm just going to start from that point, then connect it with a curve. The next I'm going to, let me just write my crotch back and my hip. 
I'm going to find the midpoint of this point to here. I'll mark my measuring tape and find the midpoint. So this midpoint is going to help me to shape my my trousers leg. I'm just going to fold my measuring tape and find my mid. So my midpoint was um, six inches. Then I'm going to draw a vertical line straight from the midpoint. Then I'm going to draw the vertical line down to my trousers full length. Okay, so the next step is very easy guys, but you need to pay attention. So this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go on my thigh line, get the circumference of my thigh divided by two then further divide by two so let me just do a bit of calculation here so my thigh line circumference was 24 inches 24 divided by two is going to give me 12 12 divided by two is going to give me six so i'm going to work with six this six i'll put six on this side and another six on the other side so i'll put six this side and six on the other side very easy yeah? I'm going to go to my knee line I'm going to do the same my knee circumference divide by 2 is my knee circumference is 16 16 divided by 2 is 8 8 divided by 2 is going to be 4 so I'm going to mark 4 on the other side and 4 on the other side so if you love this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the next i'm going to go on the full length of my trousers i'm going to do the same the full length of my trousers is 12 12 divided by 2 is 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 so i'm going to mark 3 on the other side and 3 on the other side the next i'm going to connect my points and shape the trousers so this trousers is for the front and back Make sure you watch up to the end. This is just the front um, pattern. I'm going to show you how to make the back pattern. So let me just connect the points and shape my trousers leg. Very easy guys. Please give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe. So as you can see, I'm just shaping my trousers very beautifully there. Okay, so I've just shaped the front part of my trousers. Shortly, we're going to draft the back side of the trousers. So to make the back side of the trousers, you're going to trace this front on another pattern paper. So let's assume um, I've already traced this pattern on another paper. So the difference between the front and the back is on the waistline and on the crotch. We're going to extend the crotch line and the waistline because the back side is bigger than the front. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to extend my crotch line by 1.5. I'll extend it further by 1.5. Then next I'm going to go on my waist and go upwards by 1.5. The next I'm going to connect my, I'm going to just connect the points. And then I'm going to connect the crotch extension to my 1.5 hip. Yes guys, just do as I'm doing it. Like that. So this is the back side. Then next, I'm going to extend my thigh line by one inch. This is the inseam extension, one inch here and one inch down. 
Then I'm going to connect with my roller. So this is the inseam then i'm going to connect that extension of the waist down with a diagonal line okay so this is the back side of the trousers thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you found it useful or if you'd love to watch more videos from me bye